All right, you guys. O O T D. Y'all, it's so dark in here. It still looks like it's like 6 a.m. What's going, going on, on Murphy? Welcome back to our channel, guys. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, turn on post notifications, and join the family. <laughs> this involves a first step to a family. Yeah. One of the first steps, I guess. It's just a big step in life. I already know what's going on by the title, but pretty much me and my wife are going to buy our first home today. <laughs> no, nah, that's crazy to say. When it, when you like really, like we've been just letting it soak in. I feel like our life recently has been just full of these insane things going on. This is one of those insane things going on. This is huge for us. Like, yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys like a little bit of this process that we're on with our new home that we're buying, but yeah. <laughs> We're buying, we're buying our first house. It feels like, it feels unreal. I feel like I'm trying to like wait for the moment of like signing off yeah. on it. You know what no, I'm saying? No, it's, it's like creeping up on me. Yeah, it's creeping up for sure. Like, because I feel, I, we, we, we just have to go honestly because we're really late. It rains every single time we have a big day. Every single time. Look at this. It's downpouring. Is downpouring. This just shows us that we're on the right path. The path that God has for us, we are aligning with it. When it rains on like a big day, it, it's a blessing. It means that it's a blessing. It started because when we got eloped in Hawaii, that's what they told us. Because when we were literally about to say I, the I do's, they were like, well, in Hawaii, like rain actually means a blessing. So every single t like day, like important day from that time, like it rains. On our wedding day it rained, today it's raining. Our elopement day, it rained, it rained on your surgery day. Like that's just like recent times. We just know like this is the right path. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, exactly. Reminding us like, don't, don't be scared of the rain, I'm blessing you. <laughs> Yeah, because this is a leap, you know? Like, this yeah. is very, this is a big leap. It's Especially buying your first home like at, at 25 years old, 24 years old. Yeah. Like, this is... talk about, like, people talk about, like, how real it is to be buying your first home. I don't even know how I'm going to be feeling when they're like, all right, you start to sign. I just think <laughs> shit's crazy. It's just crazy. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. The thing with us is... We have always had signs of God around us. And since since we first started dating, first started dating, there were signs of God around us. And one of the biggest signs that we have together that happened was when we got into a car accident. A year and a half into us dating, we were working our jobs, long hours. We were blessed that night. It was like two o'clock in the morning, both fell asleep, crossed the whole ass highway, missed the, the guardrail, Oncoming, a, traffic. oncoming traffic, a ditch, trees, walked away with not even a scratch on the car. Since that day, to think like we were busting our asses working long ass hours, seven days a week, every single day we were just grinding our asses off and and just putting our faith in God that everything will work out and that yeah. our dreams will be fulfilled by Him. Yeah. And now to go and we're going to buy our first home, look for the signs, y'all. Because they're there in your life. You just have to stop saying, oh, this is a coincidence because it's, it's not. Everything happens for a reason. You're, you're in this moment in life for a reason. And whether it's good or bad, whatever is happening in your life, you are there for a reason. This is a part of your story by God. This is your path. So just look for the signs and, and follow the path that he has for you and just put your faith in him. It'll, everything will work out. This is, this is a crazy like feeling that I'm feeling right now. All right, y'all, so to pretty much kind of like explain a little bit of how this process has worked, we went to a developer in a community that we really like. It's a little north of Miami. It's way, no, let's be real, it's, it's, it's out of Miami. All right, it's north of Fort Lauderdale. So pretty much, we're gonna be building a home. But it's not like we're doing everything to it. Yeah. So the structure of the home, which is what we're going to look at today, and we're also doing obviously the contract and, and the down payment and all that stuff. So that means you gotta put down money. You put down your actual down payment when closing time comes in a year because the house has to be built because it's new construction. 
construction. As you get older in life, like you're gonna start to learn these things and you guys can obviously see from us and learn, maybe learn from us. That's why we wanna share this journey with you guys and tell you guys like how this things work. But pretty much like the area we're living in is unrealistic to buy a house. It's unrealistic to buy a house anywhere right now because the pricing is insane, the pricing is crazy. We considered South Carolina, we considered Texas, we considered everywhere that's good pricing on houses. We just really like South Florida, but not deep in the city of South Florida. We like just like the outside city of South Florida where we yeah. can get to the city, but like we want to be ducked off a little bit. Also, when you're ducked off a little bit, you're in like a little bit more of a land area, it's more cheaper. It's a lot more cheaper. I like how that we can still have the outlet to it. Yeah. If we wanted to go and, and whatever, spend a day or spend a weekend, like whatever it is, like in the city city, but we living in the city 24 seven, you learn to not like it. Also like apartment living, we're definitely done with. Uh, we, we've had our four years of living in apartments. Um, this will be our fourth year, like once our lease is up for this year, it'll be our fourth year living in apartments, like we're just done with it. And you start to see though, all the little things that are actually wrong with living in apartments. But the main one is obviously the rent. You're renting, giving money to somebody that's, and it's not going back in your pocket. Pretty much with this process, we're buying a new construction home, so it's gonna take like nine to 12 months to actually build the home. We're still gonna be living where we're living for the next year, but in the process, this next year, the house is gonna be built, we're gonna be doing like upgrades to it, going and doing just like walkthroughs like as the house is built. So we'll be able to keep you guys updated with like as it's being built and you'll be able to see it with us. But I will say like what I really like about this development that we're buying into, you, they have this, they give you the structure that you can pick. So we get to pick the structure and then we get to actually adjust the structure as well. We weren't going into this thinking like, oh, we're gonna go get our dream home, don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's, it's, it's everything and more that we could have thought for ourselves to be buying at 25 years old. I'll say it's not a forever home. We always wanted our first home to be an investment, something that we can build, something that in a in a book like an upcoming area. That way, in a few years, in five years, when we have a big family, like and we need to upgrade a house to get more room and more space, then we'll do that in five years or three to five years, whatever it is. We wanted to make like a smart decision, being young. <sighs> the air smells so fresh here, y'all. We just pulled in, like just this. We might air tour the model. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, you hear the birds tripping. It's silent here. Peaceful. Peace. <laughs> Peace, Lord jeez. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're in the model home of the model that we like and we're just kind of like walking through because we just want to remember it for what it was. And yeah, we're just, I don't want to show you guys too much. You can look around me in the back. But what do you think? What are you thinking? I like it. I really like how it's set up. I really like the layout of everything. How much you gonna show? I'm just. I just told them. You, whatever you see behind me is whatever you see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like the open floor plan. And then after this, we're gonna go look at a few of the home sites to see kind of what we like, like what eight, what, where are house is actually going to be built so there's like a few lot options you're in my pantry what are we gonna eat <laughs> no but we were just talking about the lots and there were certain lots that were like two hundred thousand more just for the lot this absolutely so not homey. it does feel so homey so that's not kind of like an extra no This one, so you'll have that much space between you and them. See, uh, this one has the window. Oh, yeah. And then this one doesn't, it has a fourth door. Okay. So I want to show you oh, what, exactly. what it was like uh, with the, the way four to doors. The top. Got this fancy paper, and it basically shows all the color ways and color schemes that we can choose from. So we're looking at a few of the houses that they have examples for because we we want a modern elevation. So this is the first outside of the home that we're looking at. Nice. 
Nice. This is nice. Okay, you guys can see this is the second one right here. Not a fan. Why you got brown and then gray? Nah. Nah. This is another one. You guys can see this one has like white garages and more of just like a. You got the gray brick matches the driveway and then you got white garages, white house. I think we're leaning towards this one more, but we got one more. I think this one's my favorite, yeah. It's like gray and white. They all have some type of gray to it. This one's your favorite? Yeah, I kind of like the white. Oh. <laughs> you don't like it? I don't know. I don't know. You know what's throwing me? The gray brick? Yes. Yeah, I knew it was. Because oh you got gosh. gray brick and then brown. Oh. I already knew that was going to throw like, you off. That's could, why I like this one, though. They could this throw one... it off like with like a face. Yeah, but don't think about like what the inside is going to be. Think about just the outside. No, no, I know, but I'm saying like... I, feel like it's I think this one goes the best for everything. Gray driveway. Because you can't change the driveway at all. So you got gray driveway. I think it's still good. I like this one the best to match everything. Right there, that's our house. Oh, that one exactly. <laughs> that one exactly. No, for real though, this is what it's going to look like on the outside. Right now. <laughs> I like the modern, like with the tile on the outside. Yeah, and, like, stuff that's like what that. I'm saying that's by like, it. don't think about the inside. Like, think about what the outside looks like. Like, that looks dude, like having that. It's mm -hmm. really nice. But now we're about to choose what actual lot we want to sit on. Because before we went into this day, to be honest, with a layout that we wanted that we we thought we were set on and after like talking over a little bit of things so this is why like it's such a good process because you want to be sure yeah so we actually switched the homes that we were going to get we're paying more now yeah a little, a little bit, bit but i just feel like it works out better for everything we we're wanting exactly then we just went through uh all like the structural things that we have to like sign off on today which is like if we want to add windows. That's good. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> figured out we should. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're going to do this one here. The one we're oh, this one. In. The yeah. white garage. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We're just, we're just, just talking happen. about. What are we doing here? Oh, uh, we're about to put 10% down. Yeah. So basically, we just went over all the structural things that they need to know. That's like the actual build of the house because all like the other accessory stuff that we will have an appointment for, for like, faucets and the way we want cabinets to look and all that is like later on yeah but so this today is was like, like the structure of the house yeah um in so 45 like, days we'll do the the upgrades like the floors the countertops the cabinets yeah. stuff like that more fun stuff so well i think today was fun too yeah it was fun hey golly when you break ground on their home so it's usually about the contracts are going to say end of october but then Permitting can take anywhere up to 60 days. Mm. So by the end of the year, you'll be in your home. Hold on, no, break ground, break ground. Oh, break ground, probably 60 days. Okay, so two months after. Oh, by the end of the um, year, we'll be in the home? Yeah, you should be. We thought it was like eight to 12 months, okay. We're saying nine to 11, but the contracts right now are doing October, November, December. Nice. Oh, wait. <gasps> wait, what? <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Shoot. But if something happens with construction, it gets pushed, don't shoot me though. Yeah, construction, right. the builders don't want to be liable for any timeline. So. Oh, so when do they start building? So it'll have to go to permit first. So that'll be 60 days. Well, okay. Okay. It, could, it could come back sooner. You never know. It's permitting. It's all construction. But yeah, we'll submit it for permitting after your... Oh, you <laughs> We thought it was going to be like next April. Yeah, that's what we were that's expecting. We were like, ourselves. next March. Like, maybe we'll have to like, month to month our apartment. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> we got our key. I don't know how to act. So we're going to take pictures right now with the key. But so technically, oh, we'll tell them in the car.
<laughs> oh my god. Are you trying to hold back? Because <laughs> oh. I am. <laughs> Tears? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I'm happy. Of course. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm ugly crying. No, you're not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. No, you're beautiful. Go back. There's a rainbow on you. Right there, there's a rainbow on you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. We just bought our first home. I know. <laughs> It's definitely a fulfilling moment though yeah. for how much hard work we put in. I know, that's why I'm like, like it doesn't, I don't know, it's just crazy. It's the beginning though. What gets me is like the, the house that we just got and like the fact that it's like our first. Yeah. Is like. <laughs> yeah. We have been doing this for five hours though. <laughs> we need food. I know. We need food. I know. That's technically our house right there. By the end of the year too, baby. No, it's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I can't believe we just did that. I'm 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 right now my shock factor's in, so it hasn't fully hit me yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, my emotion. <laughs> I can't speak. 